Um, this is a big one, right? My mom went here. My grandfather obviously played here. Um, my uncle Jamie played cornerback here. I have a lot of history at Michigan State too, but a lot of people forget about my history on the Notre Dame side. Okay, and you know something that my mom holds, um, something that my mom holds very dear to her. The fact that she went here, the fact that her dad went here, the fact that this that her dad was able to come back and donate money to it. Point is, this place has meant a lot to us. You know, both my family and my extended family for a long time. And um, I don't know, I'm just excited to be able to, you know, continue doing it even though I didn't go to school here. I was a big learning curve last year, just because that was really my first year coaching linebackers. Um, it was awesome. I learned a lot from Coach Golden. I learned a lot about how to deal with individual players and not just coaching them all the same, but finding out what makes each player tick, what's important to each player, what's each player's goals, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe the most important is how does each player learn? And that's something I think that I've gotten better at and I hopefully continue to do so as we move forward. Not much, I'm not looking at it much different. I, I solely looked at this last year like I was a linebacker coach. So I'll be honest with you, I'm not looking at it different. It's a lot different room than it was last year. Okay, we had a lot of guys that played a lot of snaps last year, guys that basically could teach me the defense when I came in here, right? And so when I go to meetings, I could kind of lean on them and those sorts of things, well, that's gone. We have Jack Kaiser, who may be the smartest of the bunch that's still here, but there's a lot of guys, you know, Kingston, Kia, even Drake, Snead, Jaden, you know, all those guys that haven't really played a lot. So it's going to be a little bit more coaching involved. But I think that's also fun because it kind of gives me the opportunity to put my spin on it. You know what I mean? And they say that the room takes over the, you know, the mentality or the personality of the position room or the position coach. And I think this year is really my first year to get the chance to do that. I think it's what he said. It's the direct, you know, it's, it's high energy. It's direct teaching on the field and in the classroom, meaning ask the kids what do they know, make them spit it back to you. But it's, I mean, it's you have to answer and we're moving. You know what I mean? Like when you come in the building, it's, we, we have an expectation as linebackers, one, like we talked to Drake Bowling who's playing baseball. Do you see his first score? <laughs> he slid, yeah, he's representing our room. We talk about that. Like we operate a certain way in our room, on our defense and on our team, and that's expected as soon as you walk in. Coach Freeman's been great. So I, I know Coach Freeman going back to Cincinnati years ago. I sat in there, I was a GA for him when he was a defensive coordinator at Cincinnati. Um, I think the world of Coach Freeman. I think he cares about his players. I think he cares about his staff. I think he meticulously plans how everything works from who's hired here to who's brought in here to recruiting different guys in different spaces. I think he's had a great plan um, since he's been the head coach here and I'm excited to be a part of it.